Modeling your project in CAD is the first step to your CNC projects. We'll be designing this simple coaster because it teaches you the core of all designs. And once you have the fundamentals down, you'll be able to expand that into trays, signs, flat pack. In this video, I'm gonna show you why I always measure before I start designing, the first step to every design project, how to define sketches so that they don't move, how to turn a sketch into something that your CNC can actually cut, how to adjust your designs after they've already been made, and what you should start exploring on your own once you have the fundamentals down. Here we are in Fusion 360, which is our CAD software. But where we start our model, especially on the CNC, is actually in the shop. What we wanna know right now is how thick our wood is. So the first step to every project is going to be making a sketch on a plane. Now, you usually wanna do this on the top plane for consistency. That way, here I'll show you the origins, your Z, which will be the depth of the cut, is vertical, and your X and Y are where they'll typically be on your CNC as well. This just makes it a little bit easier for the future. So we'll start with a circle, and you want to make sure that you click on this origin. The origin is this center point, and once again, this will lock it in place. This will lock the drawing in place. And make it so it won't move. And we'll make this to four and a quarter. To zoom out, we can simply press this fit button. And that makes it a little bit easier. You can see in here that this is black, this black line. That means that it's fully defined. If I click on it and try to grab it, it won't go anywhere. So I'm going to delete this mention really quick just to show you that it turns blue. And now I can pull it. We want to make sure that it stays black. We want to try to make sure that all of our drawings end up black. Now, from here, you don't even have to get out of the sketch. You don't have to press finish sketch. You're going to go over to solid and say extrude. And extrude just means you're taking a shape and you're adding thickness to it. And this is where our measurements come into play. For me, it was 0.47. And I'm just making this out of plywood. So I'm going to hide this origin just so I can see what I'm working with. And I can draw another sketch. This time, we don't have to pick a plane. What we're going to pick is a face. So we're going to pick the top face. I'm going to draw a circle. And just to show you, I'm going to start the circle off of the origin. I can pick the origin and it'll basically snap to it. And I can draw my circle from there. Or I can click over here. And we want to make this about 3.75. Press enter. Now you'll see that I have a dimension on it, but it's still blue. That's because I can drag it around and it's not fully defined. To fully define it, we're going to look up in these constraints, which are kind of like dimensions, but they're relationships and geometry. And a lot of the common ones are vertical and horizontal, coincident, which is what we're going to use right now. So I'm going to click on coincident. I'm going to click on our origin and I'm going to click on the middle point. And all coincident is, is it means it's touching. It means that I clicked on two points, so now they are touching. Press escape to get out of that tool. And we're going to go back to solids again and click on the extrude. Now you can see that, interestingly enough, we can cl click on the outside or the inside. For this one, we're going to click on the outside and we're going to go down a quarter of an inch. Whoops. So that was plus a quarter of an inch and you can see that it actually adds. So what I'm gonna do is just put a minus sign in here and you'll see that it turns red and we'll press okay. So now we have a fully designed coaster that we're going to be working with in the cam section, but let's say that we see it and we're like, hmm, I'm not sure about this wall thickness and you're not sure how to measure it. The easiest way is you can use this inspect button. So you can click on measure, click on the two walls and it'll show you the thickness that it's 0.25 and it will also show you the minimum distance here but say we want this actually to be a little bit thicker what we can do is we can use the history bar down here let's get out of the inspection tool first we can right click on the sketch say edit sketch and then we can change this number but we like the three and three quarters for this middle section and we want to change this outside diameter from four and a quarter to four and a half 
I'm going to click on this outside wall and down here, these three hashtags show up showing what part of the design process is responsible for this feature. So if I click on the middle, it goes to this one. So we'll click on the outside one again. We can right click on it and we can say edit profile sketch. So let's make that one now four and a half. Press OK. And now we have a thicker wall. I'm going to go back and just change it again to four and a quarter. So for this design, all we really did was sketch, extrude, sketch, extrude. And for 3D modeling, this is really all you're going to need for a long time to be able to do a lot of projects. And I'm going to show you a few examples. It's the same thing with the sign. All the sign was is a block, sketching, and extruded out a perimeter cut, and then some letters that were just extruded in as well. So you're able to do this sign with the same exact steps we used to make this coaster. And here's another example, although a little bit more complicated, it's still the exact same thing. It's a circle that was extruded up, and then each one of these pockets is just a sketch and an extrusion down. And finally, this one is a lawnmower bracket I had to make to fix a Ryobi mower, but the same thing. I started off with a solid extrusion. This one has a couple holes in there as well. Sketch, a couple more extrusions. And you can see how just sketching and extruding can start turning into different shapes. And this is so I could do a two-sided cut, um, but we'll go into that in a different video. It's a bit out of scope for this one. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to cut this part out in CAM. But in the meantime, go ahead, make a new design, and then just start playing around with different designs and different things that you can make. Start exploring, and I will see you for the next video.